Ooh. I know. Chief, Chief Prosecutor, I am sorry. Aunt Karma, it's not like you to make this kind of error. I never thought that I never thought that Eshworth would be the one to catch you. I was careless. I'm sorry, but you'll have to be penalized. I've covered for you in the past, but not this time. Edgeworth. I saw Fall Karma. Right. It, it was a shock. It was a shock. None of them I have ever known. Me? Penalized? It took hours for me to regain my composure. Suddenly, I found myself in the darkness. I was in the courtrooms and the court records room. I must have wandered in there without thinking where I was going. The room was pitch black. The lights must have gone out. I went out into the hall and fell my way to the elevator. I pressed the button, but nothing happened. Then, there was a noise. I was in pain. A horrible burning pain in my shoulder. Just then, the lights came back on. The elevator doors opened before my eyes. I saw three people inside, all laying unconscious from oxygen deprivation. Much to my surprise, a pistol lay at my feet. Uh, yeah, you might want to come in here. I knew then, it was destiny. I mean, uh, I mean, we still need your final thoughts on this case, though. We're coming to the end. Alright. Go ahead. In his, la his last moments, Gregory Edgeworth was still unconscious. He died, never knowing who had shot him. He later spoke through a medium blaming. He later spoke through a medium blaming Mr. Yogi. He was fooled. It was the perfect crime. Who would have? Who would have thought another man would have come to the open the that elevator door? Judge, what? What are you doing? Do your job. Bring an end to this miserable charade. Now, end it. Very well. It appears that we have come a very long way to the end of this maze. Fifteen years later, Mr. Miles Ashworth. Yes, Your Honor. You were innocent. You are innocent. As you said, it was all a nightmare. Yes, Your Honor. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, yeah. not, not guilty. Guilty. Uh, confetti. More confetti. That was all. The court is adjourned. Now, can I please have my dinner in peace? But yeah, by this time, you should already have dinner. Nick! Nick! We did it! <clears throat> you see his face? What kind of looking even paler than you saw? He's pretending to be all cold, but inside you crushed him, Nick! Crushed! Man, I gotta say, the the, the scream definitely took me. Definitely <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I could definitely tell. I, could, I, I mean, to be honest, the first time I heard that scream in the investigation, I'm like, Yep, that's the scream. Yep, that's the scream I wanted to hear. So, uh, so pretty much, uh, so pretty much, great job, great job on that scream. Thank you. What do you think of the second and third time you did? Uh, it pr well, uh, pretty much, the still the same thing. Like uh, you did real good on that scream. You did real good. I, I was actually say I was at I knew it was coming, so I was trying to save my voice as best as I could. That's why I asked you to take over for. Ah, uh, yeah, actually, actually, yeah, that made a lot more sense now. Because I knew the screen was coming, I'm like, yeah, let me tell Sekoa that, that, that to be gross for it, because I need to save my voice for the, for, for the screen. I anyway. understand. Anyway. I gotta say, I'm impressed. <laughs> it was pretty close, though. I was sure we had it. I know. I was in the verge of tears the whole time, myself. But now it's all good. But now it's all just a good memory. So... It's finally over, Ashworth. Right. 
Yeah. I... I'm not sure how to say this. Uh, alright. I know, I know, try thank you. I see. Thank you, Roy. You're welcome. Uh, alright. I, I think you could I, I think you could have done better than that. Uh, sorry. I'm not good at this sort of thing. You got a lot to learn, that's worth She's got you there. Uh, want me what? to be gum- Uh, uh, uh want me to be gum uh, Yeah, go- go- okay. Yeah, be gum yeah. <laughs> Well, there's you, pal! You pulled through just like I thought you would! I'll never forget this! Actually, isn't you wanna be gum shoot? Alright. I owe you one, pal! And tonight, let's party! Turns on me! Yeah, my salary went down a bit this month. But who cares? See, Miss Redsworth? You should've taken a lesson for when it's at the gum shoot! Uh, oh, oh, sorry. That's okay. That's a, that, that's how you get to say thank you. Hmm. I see. Whoa! I I feel foolish. <laughs> Don't worry. Take a little time. Take a little at a time. You'll get used to it. It's been 15 years since I've seen Edgeworth this unguarded. Hey, y'all! Y'all green there. Thank you. Yo, Edgeworth, congrats. Uh, thank you all very much. I knew you were innocent from the start, of course. Just look at you. You wouldn't stick your hand in a cookie jar even if no one was there. You were the witness on the first day of trial, weren't you? Yeah, well, let bygones be bygones, eh? Speaking of which, what are you doing now, Lotta? Who, me? I went back to college. I gave up trying to be an investigative photographer pretty quick. Really? That's too bad. Huh? Isn't that the hot dog guy from the park? Or do you also want me to be Larry? I'll be Larry. Don't okay. worry. Huh? Uh, it's over, Nick. My life is over. Why the sad face, Larry? What happened now? Oh, Nick. I'm not long for this world. Huh? You don't look sick. It's Kiyonce. She's going to live in Paris. Paris, Nick! She's leaving me behind! Shouldn't have seen that coming. Yo, Edgy, there you are. Uh, yes, here I am. <laughs> Congrats, Edgy. Here's a little gift from me in celebration. Celebration? That's unusual for you. Hey, Butch! You'll come along tonight, too! My treat, pal! Huh? Oh, uh, thanks! Looking forward to it! Yo, yo, Nick! That's the suit that questioned me! When, he's, when he says treat, that's not police talk for prison food, right? Right? I think you'll be fine, Larry. Right? Yeah? What's up? An envelope that Larry gave me. It's got money in it. Well, yeah, that's not that strange. People give money away to celebrate sometimes. It's thirty-eight dollars, Roy. Huh? What a weird amount. I mean, it's not a little, but it's not a lot either. Thirty-eight dollars exactly. <laughs> Wasn't that exactly the amount of money that was stolen from Mr. Edgeworth in school? $38? No. No! Larry, it was you? What are you so surprised about, Roy? Huh? Larry was absent that day from school, right? But that doesn't automatically rule him out as a suspect. What? Think back to that day, 15 years ago. Larry took the day off, but he was bored, so he came into school anyway. Then he saw the money lying there, and the rest is history. I was never too good at history, huh? Eshworth, you didn't know, did you? Well, I suspected. I just couldn't picture Larry protecting you like he did that day. Everyone else was saying you did it. The whole class was against you, remember? Yeah, too well. 
point, you may not know this, but we used to have a saying back in school. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> I know, I know! Really, right? I was surprised you didn't figure it out. Well, this... this sure is an unexpected turn of events, eh? Edgeworth? You should've told me! Now, now, Nick, it was 15 years ago. Don't you think the Statue of Limitations has... has run out, Mr. Edgeworth? I we'll say so, yes. There you have it. There you have it. <sighs> Where does that leave me? I became a defense attorney because of what you two did. Well, you've always been... Well, you've always been something of an irresistible... Uh, insufferable emotionless. Yeah, and, 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 you, and you get worked up too easily, too. Death! The death sentence for both of you! Man, if only I had known, I'd become a prosecutor. <laughs> the same goes for me, only the other way around. For the longest time, I thought I might have killed my own father. I thought I might be a criminal. I became a prosecutor in part to punish myself. If I had known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney after all. Edgeworth. Want to switch, Roy? Hey, y'all. Line up. I'll take a photo. <clears throat> hey, photo time! Let's go! And after that, dinner on me! Detective Gumshoe took us out on the town that night. We celebrate Edgeworth's newfound freedom. Even though Edgeworth himself was still in detention. Which I don't know why, but okay, I guess we'll be in there for a little while then. <laughs> uh, 5.02 a.m., damn. Yeah, I know. Well, I went a little overboard yesterday, but uh, someone, uh, someone drank too hard. My head hurts. Huh? It's still only 5 o'clock. Maybe I should go back to sleep. Like this guy's doing over here on the couch. Hmm? <laughs> What's this? A letter? <clears throat> Good morning, Nick. You were really impressive yesterday. Seeing you... It made me think about what I'm doing here. I'm a spirit medium. In training, of course. I wanted to help Mr. Edgeworth, too. I wanted to help you. But I couldn't. I was useless. So I decided to go back to my training. I'll become a full-fledged spirit medium for starters. I couldn't say I couldn't say it to your face, so I left this letter. Bye, Nick. Goodbye. What time is it? Ah, the first trains for the mountains have already left. To the station. Dun. I guess I'm too late. Hey, Nick. Maya. So, you're leaving? Yeah. It's hard being a spirit me. It's hard being a spirit me who can who can't talk to spirits. <clears throat> and I think you'll do fine without me, Nick. Be good, okay? Remember this. Uh huh. What? Guys, remember this. Yes, remember this. W wait. I never could have saved Edgeworth without your help. Huh? On the last day of the trial, I heard her. I heard Mia's voice. You heard my sister? Yes, only her voice, but still. It was at the very end when I thought we lost everything. Well, that's my sister for you. Detective Gunshu help, and Miss Roseburg, and even Larry. I'm the only one who couldn't help. I was useless, Nick. But you were the one who stopped Von Karma, Maya. Huh? I didn't do anything. All I did was wander around in the days. Sorry, but I have evidence that you helped. Evidence? So 
so Maya has some evidence to cheer her up. So what's the evidence to prove that Maya did help, after all? Well, it easily. Right. Bob Carmen was convinced that he had, they had taken all the evidence pertaining to DL6. But you are the one who rescued the last piece of evidence we needed. This was the bullet that put an end to Von Karma. And you were the one who gave it to me. Nick! Nick! Thanks, Maya. I couldn't have done it without you. I'll be back soon. Huh? I'm going to I'm going to complete my training and come back. Okay. I'll be waiting. Of course you will. You can't run that office by yourself. You're hopeless. <laughs> I don't know about that. So, this is it. See you soon, Maya. And she's off to Sodor. I mean, uh, back <laughs> to Spain. I mean, I mean, Maya does seem like the type that she, uh, that, that that definitely would love the sword or. And so yeah, my story, is. and so my story ends. Time to turn a new page and say goodbye to the novice defense attorney that I once was. Now a new story begins with the same old crazy cast of characters. All right, uh, we'll give our final thoughts after the credits. Huh? Don't think you've graduated yet, amateur, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you'd like to rethink that claim. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Alright, well, that's case four. Turn about goodbyes. Uh, like I said, uh, we'll give our final thoughts after the credits because uh, there are some little um, epilogues, like this one right here. Hey, pal. Mr. Westwood came down to the precinct to wish me a happy new year. But hey, it's New Year's too. Talk about a pleasant surprise. Whoa, Detective Gumshoe! Lady Hornet said hello and went right back outside. Kinda of like it was embarrassed or something. Strange, huh? Alright. Uh, now, are there any characters that, uh, you know, uh, Barney has voice that he wants to try to voice? He can, but like I said, this is all scrolling, so I have no control of the speed. Alright, I'll, I'll do my best. <clears throat> huh? Huh, Nick? Huh? Who, me? I've been working at the cheese shop. That's Missy. That Missy's a nice lady, but not exactly. Uh, yeah, I can't read. Uh, oh, she, oh, she's, she's in Hawaii right, right now. Yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. All right, let's see who's All right. next. Uh, it's time to get ready because we just send her the credits. I think it's past. Oh, look now. who it is. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember him. Uh, he has been busy lately. You know, not to mean my own bell, but I sort of tell him everything he knows. I'm sure he's grateful. Alright, hold on a second. Phoenix, right? Hmm. Ah, uh, the defense attorney for whom I wrote an affidavit for. Anyway. Oh, you should know. I have taken over the Kingwater Hotel, Hotel recently. Hotel. Should you be in the area, please stop by. Oh, oh please, stop by. <laughs> Remember when I used to give him the Scottish accent? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. That's right. Because I believe uh, this was like, uh, hmm, what's you, Felix Roy? Oh yes, me as understudy was he not? I wonder what he's doing. I haven't seen him of late. Ah, oh, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh loving. You see. Anyway, but, uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. originally, like, you know, when we were doing this by ourselves, I think it was, like, uh, based on, like, uh, what Junior's uh, actor was going to be in Magic Railroad. He's yeah. right. Oh, look is, is he an actor? Well, I'm not buying it. You can't be a star with a name like Phoenix. Did you know that they're finally putting Amazon DVDs in the box? Anyhow. Anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll be seeing her again, her. believe me. Remember her. Yes, definitely remember her. And remember him, too. Oh, I was oh, to announce the Pink Princess is a hit. I sure owe Mr. Wright a great deal. <laughs> oh, but I'm keeping my face out of the public eye so the show's over. I wouldn't want to ruin any kids' dreams, you know? Uh, I 
think there's one more left. Let's see. Uh, actually, no. There's about like three more left coming up. Oh, look who it is! Yep. Oh, I got a letter oh, from I got a letter from Naga. It sounds, it sounds like she caught a cold under a waterfall. I wanted to visit, but I didn't have time. Pink Princess. She says she can't bite him where she is. What kind of place is she living at anyway? A place with waterfalls. <laughs> mm, I think that's it. Let's uh, and there's still two more. Yeah. Oh. Right? Who's that? You want to talk? Let's talk Pink Princess, alright? But, you know, I snuck into the studio the other day. And I saw her. The one inside the Pink Princess suit. Ugh. What a dog. Kind of a shock for a boy of my tender age. Uh, Cody, I don't know how to tell you this, man. Yeah, I remember right. That lawyer guy. Not me. I'm training to become a paranormal photographer. You know that picture I took of everyone? Well, just behind them, there's a ghost. For real. Now that's talent. I'm gonna be famous. And well, want to see that photo? Here it is. Yep, there's the ghost. <laughs> yep. And there's me as well. Yep. Well, I guess that's it for Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. That was a... Hold it! Oh! Yep, a brand new episode has been added. Yes, folks. As we already stated and everything, this is the episode. This is the bonus episode that's been in every Ace Attorney release starting with the DS, which we'll get into more detail about once we get to that episode itself. But, for the time being, we are all done with Turnabout Goodbyes.